I've always been intrigued by these reassembled surplus trucks, brought in containers and locally put back together. With transport always being a difficulty, might I get one? The world needs to know something. I found these guys, picked them up, and we're, we're all going for Bulalu now. Bulalu. Bulalu. In nearby Baganga, our friends have opened a new Bulalu one. La la la. Ah, la. Ah. <laughs> what happened to Bito? Bito was still open. Oh, okay. I'm just a cook here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, will I endorse Ringo's Bulalu? Wait, I'm gonna say it when he's here. The question is, will I endorse Ringo's Bulalu? Yeah. This will is I? not my Bulalu, this doctor's Bulalu. Hi! You're very secretive. It's good. Nice and native corn. The best. Ringo is the hero father, the heroic father. Look at this, the family man, the father. That's the, that's okay. the father huh? My mini me. Yeah, the real father. Mini me. No, we know. Huh? Mini me. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Which brings me back. Travelling back to Dabao, I realised the world's very connected. From the mountains down to the plains, nature collides. A vast array of colour that us humans have traversed and added our own impact to. But of course, this is often imperfect. Which leads me back. How do we move things around? Trucks a part of life. And today, I could actually see them unloading a disassembled truck. This is like some sort of ceremony of opening a container. I've never seen it before. Easier said than done when a fall into not so shallow water awaits the unlucky one. This guy has a better idea though. Inside are two prime movers, disassembled for efficient use of space. This right here is a disassembled truck that's come from Japan. The reason they do this is you're not actually allowed to import old trucks. But what you are allowed to do is import the parts and reassemble them. That's allowed, that's okay. Because of course the, they also have to change the steering wheel over from right to left and so on and so forth. This is the legal way to do it. At least that one actually looks road legal. Then I thought they were hooking up this whole chassis. No. And they came back from lunch early, so I didn't see them pull this out. This is a prime mover, so they still got the cabin to pull out. Looks like this at the moment. Old car hoods used as sliders. I wonder where they're going to put this and assemble this. Will they put the back wheels on first, or...? Very interesting. What was I saying? I think they might be putting the wheels on. Yeah. 
I just realised at the back there's a second prime mover. So two, two prime movers in a 40 foot container. Can they fit the wheel in there? That's the question. Okay, so it sits on the two wheels on this side. <laughs> it doesn't collapse on the far side. That's good to know. Oh, how can Oh, how are you? Who got the job? Who got the job? Who got the job? Who got the job? I was hoping they were going to put the axle on and so on here, but no, they're, they're just going to pull this one out the way now it has wheels on it. Unfortunately, they're not going to assemble these today, which is what I really wanted to see, but this is cool all the same. The forklift is the prime mover of the prime mover. This prime mover can only turn right, never left. And this is a giant game of Tetris. Now it's in its place, ready to be assembled in the next couple of days, or whenever it is. Next, the even more difficult task of removing the cab. I've always been interested in these trucks because they're surplus trucks. They're imported and reassembled in Subic and of course converted because they come from Japan. Right hand drive needs to go over to left hand drive. These might be useful for fish or for transporting or for business or for something. Trucks. Trucks. Hey, I'm sorry, my eye open, Kwan. It's an echo. Oh, dump truck, no? A mini dump truck. What do you got, my? My microphone cut out when I was telling a hilarious joke about converting my truck into a mini dump truck. Pity o, para ano? Para masang kaya mo lingkod. Dropside elf. Ten wheelers yah po ni. Ten wheeler, ah, ten wheeler yah po. Ten wheelers. Pa for. Cargo sa kana mga sand, mga abaka, kahoy, kahoy. Takaan ka abaka sa kwan sa oriental. Oriental. Oh, takaan. Ang wimba na assemble kud. Ah, um, pa the trucks sa gikan sa Japan pag abot dary a, tuwara silang convert kay di ba right right hand drive ba si to? So gikan sa right hand drive, left left hand drive mo na siyang mga conversion. Pag mo convert na siya, registro na to dary sa Davao. Mr. Pogi. Bapo kay Tania. Oh, from Japan, money lang itsura. Oh, pag about um nakaano nakakatay na sila para ma tulod sa container. Atay mga trabante diya, sila mo assemble, sila mo convert. Multi cab po dito, no? Takang classy, no? Takang kaayo. Assemble. So there's various things and various shapes of states of assembly here and of course, we saw them being pulled out of the container. Ah, so can you go on? Ongoing. Ongoing, El. Cut on assembly, you know, some money. E bolt or. Assembly is a uh, welder. A welder. We uh, connect nila ng katung mga na punto, we connect nila. Tapaka nila gun mga bakal put. Plates, steel plates. Pero, 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 I think in Japan, 
after a certain number of kilometers, they can't be used anymore, something like that. So then they come out to countries like this, where of course to buy brand new trucks would be far too expensive, would increase the transport costs. <laughs> you said you're, you're guys from Subic, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, guys from Subic. Yeah, they got the guys from Subic, Subic boys. Subic boys. So Subic is where all this started, where it all got imported. Yeah, this is this is where Subic is started. Now so Subic is uh, all so yeah. experience in assembly. Assembly. Uh, but they speak to Galog, yes. so I need to learn another language to speak to them. <laughs> ah yeah. Boy, okay. say hey boy. Hi, boy. Hi. Hey. Subic. 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 Subic boys. Ah, my only go on. It's done, no? This car. An engine diesel, no? It's only elf, elf, ne? Oh, elf. This one I, I I watched them paint and didn't film because that's what I do. Really interesting how uh, how this all gets put back together, basically from old trucks. Discarte. I have a new cameraman. Okay. Maybe I get it. The driver seat's on the other side. Down, up. I'm, I'm pretending I'm in Japan. I'm still in Japan. <laughs> I've never driven a truck, but it's just the massive things, you know. I'm gonna climb. I like to climb. <laughs> climb on. Let's scare the welder. Let's scare, let's scare the Subic boys. This isn't made for me. No, I'm afraid of climbing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not made for me. <laughs> oh, let's get out of that truck. This is all very, very interesting. Manga artista. Champina ga artista. Samot, samot and guan. Champina ga artista, no? Sino, sino, sino? Oh, Sino, sino, sino. Artista mo koko maten, no? I'm the commander daot, William Martinez. Ikan nga, di yung yung artista pa ko ganon ako mag magano mag mag comb lang here. Ayus sa gitu commander. Artista sa shampoo. William Mc, unsa man William? William, William daot. William daot. Actually, my middle name is William. Anselm William. Ah, you. You British. claim my name? Yes, I claim your name. Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> my parents claimed your name. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, serious times, the glasses are off. Oh, shiny sir. What's the one? Oh, Chef Sir Marco Polo. Uh -huh. <laughs> With the rain threatening and the heat already oppressive, it was time for a different mission to find ice cream. I'm also trying to find transport going up to Dinagat. I know I'm, I'm giving away all my secrets right now. And um, one of those trucks might be handy because I've got a lot of plywood. I think I'm gonna be able to take materials for eight boats up to Lipo, really work on them up there, which is gonna be really, really cool to see because boat building's another craft I like to see. Maybe that's gonna help because sometimes it's difficult to find people willing to do the unusual runs, the inter-island runs, and so on and so forth. Felix Berto and Richie combining yeah. names, the most common Filipino thing. Yeah. My <laughs> wife's name's also combined. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's name was not because I made it very British. <laughs> My friends created this ice cream brand in the last couple of years and wanted me to try it out. These are nice. Eco friendly packaging. Oh, eco friendly? Yeah. Biodegradable. Oh, yes, it is. It's so carton. It's like card. Yeah. Very nice. Eco friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try all of this stuff. Yeah. I want to try it because it's very, very hot. <laughs> it's very, very much the summer, and I'm very excited. And support your friends' businesses. It's, it's also very good. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Actually, this is a life changing really event nice. for all of those first time to try these ice cream. I'm okay. Yeah. My life, my life's gonna change later. So, so yeah. which one would you like? Oh, maybe the obvious cheesy. That's, yeah, right. that's your favorite. <laughs> for the last uh, three months, I think I already consumed seven pints. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're friends. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the pint record soon. Mm. That's good, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'm a gold member. Oh! Professional cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cat choco. Malagos chocolates. Malagos chocolate. Uh, Malagos. Malagos. Here. Malagos oh. chocolates, huh? Yeah. Very local. Mm. That's cool, that's cool. Right, I'm just gonna. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm going to put these in my freezer and my wife will steal it. That's fine. Yeah. And, that's, and that's okay because I won't get that. Recyclable material. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. So it's insulated for Very insulated. experience. Be <laughs> my premium experience? <laughs> You're such a salesman, that's funny. <laughs> I've known this guy a while. Didn't know you were a salesman. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you just surf. <laughs> Remember a year ago when I ate a Carolina Reaper burger? And it was a really bad idea. Well, Burger Alley is back. And this time, it's in two buck. Bola, bola. Cheese is one and two flame grilled. Cheese is three and four sprinkled. Everybody. This guy almost killed me, but it was my own choice to almost get killed with the Whistle Burger before, when I ate Carolina Reapers on top of burgers, which is not recommended. <laughs> this is ghost pepper sauce. It's very orange. Remember? Ah, okay, I'm not going ice cream to my life. <laughs> okay, ra. Welcome back to Commander That Ought Reviews Food. The burger comes after the ice cream. Very that hot. Chicken burger with a bit of ghost pepper sauce. It's got coleslaw, but it's healthy. I keep making these jokes. Ah! Oh! <laughs> There's the ghost pepper. That's strong. Doable, but strong. Oh, it burns. Oh dear. It's light, it's not too heavy. It's good. I was gonna say four cheese whopper. It's just a four cheese burger. I saw the cheese go on. I was very excited about it. Oh, oh, oh. Those patties are superb, really superb. Cheese done to perfection. Oh, oh. I have a complaint. What? My wallet's complaining. I'm going to keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good burgers. Just what I remember. Thank you. You, Mr. Dowd. You, Mr. Dowd. <laughs> and it's right by my house. I mean, the interesting thing about the last couple of years is I've noticed a lot of rural towns have gained a lot in terms of food choices from a lot because a lot of people just went back to their towns and they missed what they knew from the cities. Where we are now, we're kind of maybe 15 kilometers out of town. Of course, their old location wasn't sustainable. They brought it here where the people are. And uh, this is nice. It's a nice stop as well if you're coming from Bukit Non, Buddha, any of these places. It's good. He thought I actually had a complaint. 